Are you ready to listen to a podcast? podcast. Here comes the Playhouse Podcast. Thanks to Bradshaw and Brian Law Offices. Find, subscribe, and listen. A lot of ways to get a hold of us and be on the show. If you've got something that you'd like maybe an audience opinion on, you can hit us with a DM, a text message. But it's best for you to call, and that's why we, we welcome Kendra to the show today. Now, Kendra has a five and a seven-year-old. What's going on here? They have decided they want to lock their bedroom doors. Oh, okay. So you said five so, and seven, right? Five and seven. Okay. Yeah. They so. got two boys, five and seven. And the five-year-old just wants to do whatever the seven-year-old does, yeah. of course. Sure. But the seven-year-old is very, he has demanded that he be able to lock his door at night. And um, I have mixed feelings about it. He's only seven. Like, what if there's a fire? What if he has a nightmare? What if? Something happens, right? And you need an adult to come rescue you, whatever that might be, right? Yeah. My husband thinks they should have their privacy, but I'm like, what the heck are they doing at five and seven that they require privacy? <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's a stressful point at my house. I don't really know what the right thing to do is, but I'm thinking in case of emergency, and my husband's thinking. Jeez. You know, they're boys, but I'm try it out. I don't, I yeah. don't really know. This is crazy because I feel like a woman would have the opposite stance and the dad would be like, you know, no, we're not going to lock the doors. This is how it's going to go. And the mom would say, no, they need to learn, you know, what privacy feels like. And her, I, I don't like locked doors because of the emergency situation. If Liam's door is locked, I will always knock on the door just to make sure I'm not yeah. walking in on him and making him <laughs> uncomfortable. But uh-huh, for sure. I, I don't think I would do locked doors. That's just me. It's, they're too young, I think. They're just too young. I, I think it would be different if they were preteens or teens. Yeah. But five and seven, just, you know, they're still having nightmares. And we've got, I don't know. I'm so, just not ready. Kendra, hang, hang on one second. I'm going to put you on hold because I want to get everybody else's thoughts on this. He, I think what you guys are missing is what is the worst thing that could happen here? The worst thing that could happen is, is a, that is a fire and is you can't a fire. get in there. Listen, they get trapped. You I can't don't get in. know how big of a baller you are, but I think I have nice six panel oak doors on my house and I could kick that lock in with one SWAT. It's yes. not going to stop you from rescuing them in a bad situation. I think it's more so a five and a seven year old telling her what they want. Why and the not? Why, them. why would you say you can't have private areas? I, why would you shut them out like I, this? I would never tell Liam that he can't have his privacy. If he shuts the door, like I said, I will always knock, make sure I do not walk in to his room. I so would. Why can't it be locked? What's the difference? That. I think five years old is uh, a little young to get used to being able to lock doors behind you. That's just me. It's an arbitrary number. This is the silliest conversation we've had all week. Five and 13 are two totally different ages. They're different developments. If they're two and they want to lock the door, let them lock the door. What's the... Pro- I, but it's also a five-year-old giving them an upper hand over the adult. Like, don't lock the door. You can shut it, but don't lock the door. And then so they're like, what? well, dad said I could lock the door. I don't know. You guys are making rules to make problems when you don't need this problem. Angie says, you pay me rent. You... Get to lock the door. Oh, God, come on. Leslie says, my oldest is 13. We do not let him lock the door. Why? I don't get why. Well, Leslie, call in and explain it to him why you don't let your 13-year-old lock the door. But do you knock? I think knocking is very important. Of course you knock. Some people don't. Some parents are like, listen, this is my house. I can walk into any room I want to at any time. But I would never do that. What the hell is going on here? Brandy, Lissa, Leo, Bree, Carla, Neely, call in. I just, I don't get the problem. It's a locked door. Yeah. And guess what? If you have a ballpoint pen or a bobby pin or a chopstick, you can press the little button through the door and get in there. I know. It's not stopping you from getting in their room if there's an emergency or a nightmare. I love this, Leo. That's exactly what's wrong with this next right. generation. It, it completely <laughs> is. You're stopping them from just locking a door. What are you doing? We talked to a woman named Kendra a couple of minutes ago, and she's kind of having this this problem with her husband and their kids. It's who never are, fun to be on the opposite side of your spouse. It's always nice to have that united front, but you're not always going to agree, right? Would they have a five and a seven year old? And the kids want to lock their doors. And yeah. I, what is the problem? Somebody actually legitimately tell me what the problem 
with your five or your seven year old locking their bedroom door is? What is the her big issue deal? Her is that if there's an emergency, she can't get in right away. What if she isn't strong enough to get the door listen, in? Listen, you can what if be she's by herself? the tiniest, most fragile lady. And you can get in the locked door. But it's very true. We have the spare key over uh, two of our door frames because they all have like essentially the same little. It's a little button. You just push a little button in there. Or guys, if there's a fire or an actual emergency, put a shoulder into the door and it will. The the home locks are made to. My old man always used to say a lock will keep the honest person out. Yeah. It's the same as your car. If you leave stuff in the back seat, expect someone to steal it. But this is easy to get into. Why why make more rules for your children? I don't get this. I absolutely believe that kids should learn what privacy is. Every human should get privacy if they want to just go retreat somewhere. But just say, you know, we don't lock doors, but I will definitely <laughs> knock. Philip texted in, if you want to lock your door, go ahead. But if mom and dad have a door locked, <laughs> understand what's going on. Leave them alone. Uh, if it was one kid, maybe two in the same room, probably not. That's what Cassie says. I agree with that because I broke my sister's collarbone. And then what? Your mom could have got together. in though, right? If the door was locked, could have your mom got in there to help her? Yeah, but Emily was writhing in pain. Jesus. But that's what happens when you hang your braid over the top bunk. So you you're don't. saying she deserved it. <laughs> with her mouth? I just, maybe. Uh, maybe it's the old man in me, but... Really? This is the fight you want to have now with your family is whether or not your five-year-old locks the door? Well, then knock and open it. Yeah. I j- it blows my mind. Mallory, why do you need the door locked? Nothing good happens behind locked doors unless you're an adult, hey. which at that point. <laughs> By the way, if your kids are little kids, you can get the double locks, yeah. the doors that have a lock on each side, so you can unlock it didn't if you, you ever want to. Didn't you change your door knobs around because who was it, Raggy coming daughter, out or Nolan? My daughter, when she was, uh, like when we were trying to get her used to going to bed by herself and setting a bedtime and stuff like that, we would shut her door, we would say goodnight, we'd say our prayers, read a book, all that stuff, and then what she would do is she would get up all the time, so we'd have to keep putting her back in her bed, and then when we'd, we'd hold the door, and yeah. she'd try and get out, and we'd rag and go back to bed, she would lay on her back and kick the door with her heels. Yeah. And just be like, no, no. Oh so, my I, God. so I turned the door around. I turned the locks around. Yeah. So she couldn't unlock the door so she herself. felt like a prisoner. That's it, good. Yeah. That's a good feeling. Seems to be working. To kid. You're welcome. So uh, my beautiful, smart, talented daughter, Regan, uh, coming home this weekend to uh, my wife. We're having a big uh, party to celebrate her beating cancer. And so my kids are coming home for it. So I went and picked her up yesterday. She didn't have any classes today. And I asked her, I said, how are classes going? And she gives me the, here's what I really can appreciate. Because when I went to college, it was, uh, I'll figure it out on my own. I'll do it on my own. They have such a great setup for her. Like her chemistry class has a lab and uh, like open areas for tutoring. That they tell them, please take the tutoring because you're going to need it. Because we can only teach you so much in class. So she's using all that. And she's doing really well in school. And I said, well, how about like extracurriculars? What are you doing and stuff? She goes, well, I joined the walking club. Yes. I go, you know, I was in the walking club I go, in high wait, school. Wait, Regan, you used to be, you were an all-state athlete as a seventh grader. What are you doing with a walking club? She goes, that it is so fun. It There's is. 45 of us that go for walks on campus yes. and, and uh, you know, through St. Joe and the St. Ben's campus. And be beautiful. happy about that. It's a group of women protecting themselves. Well, I don't, it's not a, a giant protection thing. Of but course it is. They'll kick someone's ass if anybody well, think, tries to assault another female. I think the penguins around there will take care of that. I wouldn't mess with any of those nuns. Mm. They look like they've had thoughts of beating you up to begin with. I love And I'm that. sure they're great ladies and everything. But I go, you, you're you're enjoying the walking club. Uh-huh. She's like, yeah, there's like me and all my friends are in the walking you club. You know, I started the speed walking club at Anoka High School. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I single-handedly put you should, it together. You guys, she's glowing. Kat I am. Is glowing. She's got such a To start something right that now. still continues today, I got a hold of Mr. Machulis the other day, and I was like, hey, are they still doing the walking, the speed walking club for girls. He goes, heck yeah. And it's so funny because they just, you have to have a lanyard on because you can go anywhere (laughs) you want if you speed walk, but you have to be responsible about it, you know, and um, you just speed walk everywhere. Is your picture up in like the Hall of Fame room? I'm sure. I'm sure it should be.
I was just not like, for the amount of time we've been number one on the radio you're during right, this right, show, right. but for starting the speed walking club. But I, I didn't. I was I was so disappointed. And then I was like, oh, I was proud that she was happy. Dude, but yeah, the walking club. We hope every single week that you have an amazing week. And when we get to Friday, everybody kind of looks back. You go, wow, had a good week. I was like, oh, okay, week. But was it really, really an amazing week? If so, good. You won't find yourself as part of an FML Friday. The following stories, the names have been removed because we appreciate, number one, you just sharing the you-know-what show and the dumpster fire that is your life. Here comes an FML Friday. Uh, This happened to me the other day. Today, I ordered a pizza over the phone from Pizza Hut. Turns out... That I went to the store, waited 25 minutes. They saw me sitting there for a long time. They eventually walked out, asked me what I was waiting for. I had called a different Pizza Hut. (laughs) FML. You know how easy that is to happen now that they, like, will put you to corporate first, and then those people will take your information and pass it along to that store? I'm sure it happens all the time. I've always had, uh, when I've called a pizza place, they go, we don't deliver to your part of town. Really? Yeah, there's a couple of different places you that mean? go. You're like don't... right in. I know, I know. Yeah. Apparently, it's uh, too high of a. They're lying. No, you're right. I think they probably just get the vibe where they don't want to deliver me a pizza. Yep. Today, after a root canal, I went to the pharmacy for some painkillers. The really cute girl behind the customer counter st- uh, uh, service desk asked me what I needed. When I opened up my mouth to tell her, a wave of drool rolled out and splashed <laughs> onto the counter. <laughs> FML. Today, after a year of suspicion, I finally found out that my sister is in a cult. My family's response? It'll be good for her. <laughs> FML. <laughs> you know, when you find that group that you feel like you belong to, you want to hold on to it. I feel right? like that hits close to home for you. <laughs> like if you went to if you went to if you went to Thanksgiving this year, yeah. and your mom was like, Emma's in a cult, <laughs> but it's gonna be good for her. I don't think anybody would freak out. Like a white witch cult, and she was the leader. Today after I offered my boyfriend of a couple of months to come stay with my place for a few days, he showed up with suitcases and his two children, <gasps> which he'd never mentioned before. Oh, my God. F-M-L. Today, one of my job interviewers got so bored, he made a paper airplane out of my resume. <laughs> F-M-L. You need that firm handshake, girl. You need to go in. And finally... <clears throat> Today, I played Connect Four with a gay guy who was clearly hitting on me for an hour. When he asked why I didn't want to go to his place, I told him I'm straight and married. He asked why I played with him for so long, and I told him I like- my wife sucks at Connect Four. <laughs> <laughs> he called me a crotch tease and left. Wow. F M L. Let's begin now. I woke up this morning so GD tired. Yeah, you seem I, uh, crabby. No, 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 more than normal. Yeah, yeah. I, I, these late, I mean, these seven o'clock football start times. Yeah, mean that's 10, a lot. Eleven o'clock when I hit the hay, and then that two thirty three o'clock alarm hits, and boy. Your boy is dragging, and I got a big weekend, too. How was your day yesterday? What'd you do? Anything fun? It was good. Yeah, I went to Midwest Clinic of Dermatology, took care of my tech neck. You know what that is? No, explain that. I saw, I saw the video pop up, but I didn't watch it. What is a tech neck? So if you're like this. You're always looking look down? Okay. Only looking down like that, you're going to create a crease okay. in your neck, and most people have it from constantly looking down, whether it's at your computer, your 20 iPad. 20 years ago, nobody had this? I guess not. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we have it a little bit more, but that's what they call it. And Tech. so if you laser it, then it creates like a, a collagen boost and gets rid of those fine lines. So uh, we're giving one away. If you just want to text the word boo, uh, you should be good to go or follow the link on the Facebook. How page. long does something like that take? Um, 12 minutes. Okay. Yeah. So I like all those treatments because they're so quick. Even the invasive uh, laser ones on your face. 20 minutes. They make you have to tinkle. I know it makes it your body do like certain things, but do you have to tinkle afterwards? Uh, I have not noticed. Huh. No. Mm-mm. I normally go before, so maybe I'll wait. Hey, you want to have to break up the session. We'll to... see. And then I went and met a few girlfriends over at Cloud9 Energy Bowl and had uh, some energy bowl. These are so filling. <laughs> they are They're... so filling. 
Oh, my God. So then I went to Target. I had to get my niece is turning one. I can't believe it on Sunday. So she's having a little birthday party. I can't believe yesterday was October 6th. But um, I have never been so indecisive in Target ever. Why? I went in with like a, what is it called? A budget. (laughs) (laughs) And I, I stuck to my budget. I've never done that. And I got a couple of candles for my mom and sister for their birthday. Is met that them you right night. here, this new candle in the studio? Is that no, you? No, Derek went and got that oh. one. So, yeah, I went and got a cute little outfit for her. She's one. She's in size 3T. So I was just like, a cute little fall You're dress. a healthy girl. And a, and a beanie. You want a healthy girl. You when want I, a chubby baby. When, They're good. You know, I, I never heard it until I started dating my wife. But um, my wife's dad would always say, Oh, you know, Grandma Savage always said fat babies never get sick. Yeah. And I was like, I never thought about it. And I never decided whether or not it was true, but I now heard it. I hear it all the time. Oh, like, you I mean, she's not one of those fat babies on Maury. No, a no, but like, like okay, anything. chubby babies or yeah. whatever, healthy babies. Like, it's, uh, I, I, there's probably something to it. I would, I would bet that there is an actual medical supporting situation that says if you got a good chubby baby it's not yeah. going to get as sick. Liam was so chubby when he was a baby and he looked like the Michelin man and my mother-in-law yeah. oiled him up with coconut oil after a bath one time. And slid him across the floor like, like a bowling ball? Just these rings around his arms. It was perfect. The audio coming up is very, I just want to put that warning out there so we don't get any texts but this is, the, the video is wild. Uh, a Florida man charged with multiple felonies after running from police and he grabbed his toddler to use him as a human shield. Put the baby down! Put the kid down! Oh, the tasing him. Stop! Stop, Well, so wait, Dan, did he put the baby down before they tased him? Um, they... He did for a brief moment and I think that's why they took their shot right. and they saved the baby. I can't imagine okay. a cop trying to tase somebody who right. while still holding the baby. But like what a coward. Gross. Uh, okay, so here we go. We're going to end on a good note. A musician with a popular YouTube channel, he saw that there was an opportunity to make his neighbor's cat a star. Uh, always meowing and so he put it to song. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> a little reverb percussion there. La, 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 la. A little keyboard and vocals. It's a smash hit. Oh, it's Friday. While your Friday rocks with our friends at C&D Granite. Kat, you got the honors. Get us started. Why does Friday rock? Let's do it. Well, tonight, Liam is at that age where he just wants to get dropped off at high school football games. Oh, my God. But I'm going to sit with a friend in the stands. And, of course, he's going to want concession money. That's why I'm there. Spy on him? Uh, I'm not going to spy on him. He's going to go run around, do his thing with his friends. Then we have fall ball cleanup tomorrow for baseball board. Football game tomorrow. Trisha's cancer party tomorrow, which is going to be so fun to celebrate the fact that she defeated it yet again. She's not going to get taken down. And then Sunday, my niece, Ophelia, turns one. Can you believe it? Feels like a year ago she wasn't even born yet. Sweet Penelope. It's just, it's Ophelia. Penelope. That's why my Friday rocks. Oh, it's Friday and I'm all home. I like it. All home, all home. It's Friday and I'm all home. I like it. All home, all home. Uh, for me, pretty simple. My Friday rocks. We got a little football tonight. And then, uh, as you mentioned, my wife's FU Cancer Extravaganza is what we've decided to label the party. Uh, just going to have a bunch of people over, food, drinks, just to celebrate her kicking cancer's ass. So very, very excited for that. Uh, for me, that's why my Friday rocks. going to be a pretty simple weekend. Oh, it's Friday and I'm home. How are you? Good. Is this caller number 10? Yes, it's not. Not at all. Well, for the last 30 minutes, people just don't listen to the radio, and they keep calling for caller number 10. And, uh, and man, I'd love to help you out, but it'll be really simple when we do it. We'll just go call now and be caller number 10 instead of whatever you thought you heard. Okay. Okay, good talk. Bye. Thanks for listening closely. Yep. You're the best. Bye. Uh, why does Friday rock here for Heidi? Tell me. Well, because I'm going to go to a Serum's on Anoka's name. and see rock us. Oh, my God. I'm going there on the 29th, and I'm dreaming of the chicken wings uh, starting yesterday. 
get chicken wings nice. for me, yes, okay? They're so good. Uh-huh. We'll do. Definitely will do. Have a fun weekend, Heidi. Go look for my name on the bathroom. Yeah, you too. Oh, <laughs> it's Friday. I hear that right? Like yes, you did. Your name is on the bathroom all where? Uh, is it kidding. for a lame time? Please call Cat. It might be. Meet me on this date. Um, my Friday rocks is Elizabeth because my husband and my 12-year anniversary is today. We're checking out a couple of restaurants that we haven't been to and take the fam to the corn maze and pumpkin patch. Elizabeth, that sounds fall fantastic. Uh, Kanye and his interview with Tucker Carlson is just trending today, unfortunately, because he just talks trash about everybody. Now, let's talk about my good friend Lizzo. When Lizzo loses 10 pounds and announces it, the bots on Instagram, they attack her for losing weight because the media wants to put out a perception that being overweight is the new goal when it's actually unhealthy. Yes. Let's get aside if someone thinks it's attractive to each his own. It's actually clinically unhealthy. Why do you think they would want to promote unhealthiness? It's a genocide of the black race. Oh my God. I love how he starts it with my good friend Lizzo. You really think that she wants to hear that? She's working hard on herself. She's a vegan. She eats, eats very clean. And uh, I don't believe there's a genocide of the black race. This is my personal belief. I do believe we've got a long way to go for racial equality still. But I don't know if there's a a, a giant master plan to eliminate African Americans. I don't think that that exists. And if it does, uh, it's a horrible situation. We need to overcome it. I mean, we've got a long way to go to make things equal. Yeah. But to say that uh, the bots on Instagram are working to eliminate blacks might be a little bit of a stretch. So a woman on TikTok sharing the way that she... Uh, uh, thinks that men will take you more seriously. So women, if you're out there, uh, she says that if you do the following, men will take you more seriously. Every meeting, make sure that you do a firm handshake. I've always been complimented on my handshake. Um, it's nice and firm. Eye contact. Uh, introduce yourself with your first and last name. Smile in meetings. Raise your chair up so you're eye level with men. Doesn't it seem like this is out of like the 1950s yeah, handbook? Like like make a- sure you giggle at all their jokes and then whimper quietly quietly on the corner so they come up and ask how you're doing. <laughs> Remember that? No. How to get a date? It was last week. I talked about it. Like, I'm, t- I'm telling you, man. No more football for you. These you're just conco- done. The concussions I took are really taking their toll. Yeah. I don't remember this from last That's week. That's really scary. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, less bloating, ladies. Making you feel so much better during your time of the month. I'm sure you're craving that. Eat a carrot salad. I try to eat it as much as possible throughout the month, especially during follicular. Estrogen naturally spikes in your body, so that's when you're going to notice your post-bleed acne coming in. Um, you're going to have a little bit more of bloating potentially for me personally i've seen a huge difference in my hormonal acne are you okay did you say your post bleed something coming in period yeah <laughs> i'm, I'm just scared to see by the cringe. word i just it's like some people are just very uh your face gets all twisted so and i just don't understand how a carrot salad makes you feel better it's not just um orange carrots, get the purple carrots, get the white carrots and make it into a salad. And then they Boy. say add olive oil, some salt and pepper. And- I'll be pretty cold in the ground for a long time before I eat a purple carrot. Really? Yeah. They're so good. I'm pretty open to most things in life, but I will not have a purple carrot. And they cook down much better than a regular orange carrot. Anyway, that's what's trending. The Playhouse podcast is made possible thanks to Bradshaw and Brian Law Offices. Catch the live show weekdays from 530 to 9 on 1047 KCLD. Now, share this with a friend.